All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross video. So as I'm sure many of you already know, gold is a super, super valuable resource in this game. I mean, you literally need it for almost everything, right? From enhancing your characters, to awakening them, to limit breaking, to enhancing equipment, rerolling equipment, and so on and so forth. So obviously, you want to get as much of this super valuable resource as humanly possible. And in today's video, I want to give you guys a quick and simple tip for just maximizing your gold gains on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, this is something that I personally was not aware of when I first started, and it really made a huge difference once I started using it. So I guess the first thing we'll start with is that you guys should know that the quickest way or the easiest way to get gold is by selling treasure chests and the easiest way to get treasure chests on a day-to-day -day basis at least barring any kind of special event is by farming the two gold stages in fort Solgress. so let's uh pop over there real quick to take a look so go to special dungeon fort Solgress, and the first stage is uh, this one right here that requires dungeon keys and obviously that one you can't run as much because the keys take eight hours to refresh. And the other one is uh, this gold stage right here that requires the keys. And the keys, I think, refresh every... I think it's two hours per key, so we could run this a little bit more. And uh, just do those as much as possible. And if you do the just regular refreshes every single day, you should be getting a good amount of chess every day, all right? So after that, what you want to do is not take those chests directly to a shop or in your you know, item storage is what I was doing before. So when I first started the game, I literally would get the chest, go to my item storage, and just sell them for whatever value it says they're worth. So the SSR chest would be 37,500 gold, which is pretty good. It's pretty good. And the SSR chests or SR chests are 15,000 gold. I think the UR ones are 90K or something like that. I don't have any right now, but um, yeah, good amount of gold for these chests. But I later found out that I was actually selling them for under value, or rather less than the value I could have been getting them for. And what you want to do, instead of taking them directly to the shop, is go over to your tavern, this little... Uh, get out of the way, King. Come on. Uh, <laughs> and uh, go over to your guest list thing here, click on it, and then click Invite Veronica. All right. Now, as you can see, it says free if you guys want to do it more than once then it's going to cost one diamond each time you want to invite Veronica. But uh, the first time you do it every single day is going to be free. So click on invite Veronica, click free, and then it's going to say invited Veronica, visit another town or participate in battle. The special guest will arrive when ready. So all you got to do from there is uh, just go somewhere else, man. So let's say we go to a town or something like that, or you can do a stage, maybe like run a free stage, run a Fort Solgar stage, and then go back. To your tavern and veronica should be there okay so now we're in vanya i think yeah so we're in vanya and then let's just go straight back to the tavern here and we should see veronica sitting at the first table i think she should be there there she is okay so veronica's here and you just got to talk to her it's gonna be a little bit of a witty banter between the two so she says griamore was here hmm, whatever i don't i don't care one bit and then you say um, whatever you want, doesn't really matter. Uh, I think he was looking for you. And she says, is he in trouble again? Okay. And then you want to give her a gift. So she's going to ask for some kind of food. This time it's honey pudding. It could be glazed chicken or uh, some kind of like yogurt thing. Doesn't really matter. Give her the gift. Whatever she wants, just give it to her. And then you're going to get this. Well, first you get 10,000 gold. And then you get a puff. That's called Sales Guru of Leonis, and it basically gives you a 20% increase to the selling price. I think of anything, actually, any items, but especially chess, which is the thing that we care about the most. All right, so we got that buff, and now you want to go to any store. Okay, don't go to your item storage. Go to, like, an item store in any town, or you can go straight to your guild shop. So let's go over to our knighthood here. And I usually like to go to the knighthood because it's just faster. You don't have to run as much. So we go to the knighthood, or like I said, any shop available to you. And then we go over to the merchant there. And we go over to the shop. And as you can see, go to sell. It says 20%. There's a little 20% symbol here. Go over to your chests. And now the SSR chests are going to be selling for 45,000 gold each. 
the SR chests are 18,000 gold each. I forgot what it was. Oh, 15,000. So it's 15,000 to 18,000. This is 37,500 to 45,000. And even the R chests are 6,000 to 7,200. So you're getting 20% more gold for every single chest you sell. Of course, the better the chest, the more value you're getting. Like the UR chest should be selling for like 120k or something like that. Not exactly sure, but something around there, right? So right now, I don't have a lot of chests because I just sold mine, but um, if you have saved up a lot or you're like farming a ton of, I don't know, boss stages and you're getting a lot of chests that way, then um, you could conceivably get a ton, a ton of gold through this buff. And 20% uh, is not a small buff, right? I mean, right now it's going to not make a huge difference, but let's say I was selling like 50 chests then that is a massive, massive additional amount of gold that I'm getting over what I normally would have received without the buff, right? So uh, that pretty much is the tip today, guys. That is the video. Hopefully this helps some of you who weren't aware of it. Um, I know that I personally didn't know this until like, I don't know, maybe two, maybe two weeks into my, you know, Grand Cross journey or something like that. Um, I mean, they don't really make it super clear in the game. I did see there was like a tip in one of the loading screens that said something about wanting to invite Veronica to your tavern, but they don't really specify what. And I think most people that see that are just gonna ignore it or just never see it in the first place, right? So I wanted to make sure that everybody was aware of this because like I said, gold, super, super valuable, especially right now, actually, because we have the, um, what do you call it? The village gift event going on where you can get um, an SR pendant and an SSR pendant, pendant for uh, donating gold to each village. So that's six SSR pendants for six million gold. And if you guys are low on gold, this is going to help you a lot in getting enough gold to get those pendants, right? So um, yeah, that is the video today, guys. Hopefully it helped you once again. And uh, if you guys want to see more tips, more videos like this for Seven Deadly Sins, as well as gameplay videos, then make sure to sub to the channel, subscribe to your boy Tiger, join the Tiger Squad today. And I'll definitely bring you guys more videos like this in the near future. But uh, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you like the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And once again, if you like what you see, then make sure to smash that big red subscribe button. Join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too. So that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic day fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.